Alrighty then. Um, yeah. Sorry about that. Um, cut off. So we picked up. We're uh, putting number three in. We got to tighten it down by hand. And here is our one. This is number two main. This is the main bearing. These little notches go in this little groove right here. Same thing. The arrow points to the front of the block. You set her down. Thing focus. Repeat this for every main cap. This is number four. So the reason why you're doing three, two, four, what is the reason of that? Well, it's, it's I'm doing this way because it's the way it's being. You have to torque it. You can you can start any anywhere. Oh, okay. But I chose putting the center in because you have the thrust bearings. They're in two separate pieces, so I put the center in. Okay. Because I don't. I want to make sure they're in. They're not going to spin. Now I'm going to put number one in. So number five is last. Yes. So nobody likes number five. And another thing, you take a rag and you make sure there's no debris, nothing underneath this. Okay. And you do the same for the bearings. Oops. Sometimes you will drop the bolt, but that's not going to hurt anything. You guys did not see that. This is number one. Arrow paint facing the front. What we did before we disassemble this block, when we have the oil pan off, we mark our, block, our our main caps. Number one is always the first one. Then we mark number two, then we mark number three, and we mark number four, and number five. That was the can air. This is number five. Then you just put it, slide it in, make sure she's down. Arrow always pointing to the front. The thing is, you gotta try to make this clean as possible. Make sure you clean your garage out very good. I mean, you, see, you might see a mess in the background, but dirt lies clean.
what you know everyone this is a short crank it's a um, it's a uh, same kind of crank they stuck in the old Dodge Magnum for racing so um, it's in between a long and short crank so it's a medium that's what a guy set up so I'm going to want to cut that higher RPM band and more torque Checking it to make sure everything's down. Turns nice and smoothly. How much amount of plastic gauge? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, he's kind of a bitch when you put him in place and try to pop him out. Yeah, they're pretty on there, pretty good. Seriously. Well, by the way, just to let you know, the edges are pretty sharp, so you can cut yourself. I cut myself before many times. Okay, what I'm going to do You want lint free rays or anything that has no lint or anything You can go to O'Reilly's or AutoZone or uh, um, Myers, Kmart, or Larry's Auto Parts. Larry's Auto Parts in Garden City, Michigan, on Fro on Ford Road in Garden City. Like I said before, my dad's friend up there. His name is Tim, and he's a very good guy. Uh, if you guys got any questions? Look him up on Google, and if you live in the state of Michigan, you should know where Ford Road is at. So, uh, yeah, go to him. He'll definitely be happy to help you out. And he'll lead you in the right direction for people to help you. Yes. Um, I'm leaving a list of names. People helped me get finding the parts for this engine. Um, they don't make too many parts for a 2013 5.7 Hemi engine because it's a newer engine still. Uh, there's companies out there do make high performance stuff for it. Just gotta look around. Kind of a pain in the ass. But they'll help you out. I'll list the names of people who help me. So they'll help you guys out. And I am hoping turning Wicked Dodge Toys from Facebook, my group I own, into a business to doing stuff like this and detailing. Okay. So what is that you put down? That's a little piece of plastic gauge. Piece of plastic gauge. Okay. So you're gonna sit on top of that there and what you're gonna do is like just gonna smash it down and see your clearances. Then we'll see how much clearance I have. Okay. You know what? Where you have too much clearance or not enough. Thing. Sorry about the camera. It's a, this one's the iPhone I'm using now. You get the idea. So you're gonna smash it down and then like 
and tighten I'm gonna it. Torque it. Are you gonna torque it? Yeah, you have to torque. Alright. Now, uh, if you're wondering, okay, how you know what's the torque the specification for it? Well, we kind of cheated. We got this, and I will list everything on here on Wicked Dodge Toys. If you guys want to see this, go to Wicked Dodge Toys. I will uh, scan this on the computer onto uh, Facebook for all the specification for uh, from 09 to 2014 Dodge Challenger torque specification. So I will put it on the page what's it for. So what is the torque specification for it? It's supposed to be somewhere around 21 they want. Now they also want you to go 90 degrees from 21. Yeah, Sharpies do come in handy. So it's better. Quick as because the phone is charging right now while I'm filming.
So why do you keep on checking like that? I just want to see what it would be for future reference. Mm -hmm. Put it over here. Oh, from this over here. All right. I am getting the cord, I think, situated here. Now I can move around. Sorry about that. You gotta get a stitching cord for the Stupid iPhone. It's a 5S. Yeah, that's Feel free in the video, um, move up ahead, because um, you know it's going to take a while, so you can move up ahead. I don't know how to make it go faster that way, so. We're, we're at 85 torque pounds. So we're at 85 torque pounds. Okay, now we're at 85. So you're removing that. We got two thousand. So we're good. Yep. So you gotta do it to all the names? No. Just that one? Just that one. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys. <laughs> hey, nothing's wrong with making smart comments here.
Would you know, like removing it? Yeah, I want to make sure there's none on it. Okay. I don't need a best in a camcorder. Some of the background calling for his daddy, that's me. He is watching cartoons. So some got in the bearings in the inside? It's just what I'm doing is I'm removing that stuff. Okay. So why are you taking those off? So I can put lubricant on them. Before I torque everything. So you just put an extra on to make sure. Mm So, when are you going to let me do some? See, I want to do this, but yeah, let's take over everything. Yeah, people start thinking, I don't even do this at all, just you do it. No, your time's coming up next. Oh, you hear that? My time's coming up next. I do appreciate you helping me, Dad. Thank you. If you're going to do something like this in the garage, mm -hmm. you, want to, you want to clean it out best as you can because you don't want no uh, dirt, cat hairs, or anything get into the, into the bearings. Yeah, no dust, no dirt. Because burns and dirt don't mix. Oh yeah.
what I'm looking for is any kind of marks, which you see there's none.